Greetings everyone, the Goods Knight here, and today we're doing a review on the Faro Concept Slingster. So, the Slingster came recommended to me quite a bit by very many people, as compared to the uh, VTAX padded sling that I've been using for quite some time now. So, let's take a look at the uh, Slingster first, before we start getting into a fun little comparison here. So I added the HK clips that I took off the um, VTAX I was using earlier, so these are nice attachment points, but as you can see, you have this very um, durable material up over here. You got the, uh, was it a little silencer thing that... I mean, one of these, these came like standard with the VTAX, but these ones come separate yet free with the Slingster, depending on who you order through. What you have is this movable uh, padded area. Well, it's padded, but it's really, um, it's very thin padding, but it's got a very wide surface area. So it does a lot of the uh, stress removal there, and you can actually, as you can see, there's a... There's a little ring right there, you can adjust the fabric. So you can actually move this farther forward or farther back depending on your personal preference and how you're running the, uh, the sling. These are little Faro Concepts. Uh, ooh, made in the USA. Designed in Canada, made in the USA. It's upside down, but that's okay, I swear. And that all, the material runs into that little back in there and all the ways through. And then it comes back out over here and then you got your other adjustment tab thing over here. And then get to the interesting point, and this is where it varies outside of the, well most of it all varies quite differently from the VTAX, you have this cool, this is the upgraded nub thing, it used to use the um, old school 550 paracord, but that was too uh, flaccid, and this one's more um, erect, <laughs> and ready to go, so this is pretty easy to get, but you'll see, this is a one piece system as opposed to the VTAX that has two different uh, things to deal with, so Working our way back up, you got the back end over here. There's a little number of those nubs. This one's also covered in a silencer. And I've got this one right up towards the front of the weapon. So, with all that in mind, we go ahead and throw this on real quick. And as you can see, I got the padding set up. It's a bit uh, forward right now, but that's fine with me. I like having it um, up here. So when we actually shouldering the weapon, it cuts off perfectly right here. But it's still providing that padding. If we need to adjust it, you grab your uh, little adjusting tab here and you can pull that in. Tie the weapon to your body so you can actually get that better stability from a standing position or anything you might be using it for there. And if you're not using it at all, it hangs the weapon really close to your body. Now, the problem I had with the um, was the VTAC was that usually it sat a bit too low. No matter how I adjusted this one, I could still shoulder. If I got to switch shoulders, it takes a bit of time, but we can loosen this up and get the gun farther away from the body so those transitions become much, much easier. So that's pretty cool. I like that if you want to tighten it back up. So basically this all works out. The key difference here is this when you pull it away from the body, you can move it closer and you can extend it, expand and retract. Very, very simple. You set it where you want it, let it go, and it locks back into place. And you can do your thing, pull it free, and you can move it around again. Have the weapon sit way lower. And if you're going to be doing movement and stuff and you don't need to be going, doing the PPU right now, then and there, slide it back up, tighten it to the body keep it more so out of the way. So, fantastic sling as far as slings go. The material is simple, the padding, of course with plate carriers nowadays, they ride up on the neck and stuff, but this nice little flat padding doesn't dig into your neck, doesn't cause a lot of uh, discomfort or crazy things like that. The weapon stays relatively close and tight to the body, and it's easily adjusted. So, do you really understand, as I do with most of my videos, why, this e are, why these are upgrades? It will take our uh, VTAC sling here, which I now have ghetto rigs to a Tokyo Motor MTR. And what you got here is you have the metal nubs, which are pretty neat. I do like those. There's two of them as opposed to the one in the uh, slingster. And you got your silencer here that came with it. Now you got your uh, cellophone, whatever, cell, closed cell enclosure, super comfy, wide padded uh, sling part here. Now this is actually probably far more useful for things like machine guns and stuff that are much, much heavier. And the sling actually has a bit of weight with it because it's carrying all these pads as opposed to the uh, very thin and lightweight slingster. This is a bit more heavier, not necessarily heavy duty, but it's a heavier uh, padding thing, but it's also designed to help reduce the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Reduce all the fatigue and stuff and the uh, overall weight of the weapon, the felt weight of the weapon on the body. Although it does uh, add more ounces to the overall sling itself. Now, generally not too much of a problem, but again, as the old adage goes, ounces equal p pounds and pounds equal pain. So 
over time it's going to get exhausting to carry, but we got this one here. Now this one is not adjustable because that would be very much difficult to move, so instead it's reinforced closure here. The sling sits roughly about there. I've got this one actually fully retracted. This is a very, this is a long gun setup, so we're going to want the sling way far forward and locked back here, so this is going to be more of a precision weapon, less so of a run and gun sort of setup. So. It's comfy we can make this really tight to the body and have the sling sit, sit, sit way up here so, you know, if you get one bad bump, the sling hits you in the jaw and knocks you out, and now you're conscious and out of the fight. So, brilliant! Again, this was ghetto rig for demonstration purposes. Now, as you can see, here's a few of the reasons to move away. First, this tab, the V-Type tab, a lot of people cut this because it's just massive. Actually, I don't know if this is in the video I upload or not, but I was doing speed reloads, like you do in your apartment, to perfectly normal saying things that people do. It's doing speed reloads and this tab actually went on top of the magazine and tried to load itself into the weapon because I had my sling back here where it's with the VTAX on the Mark 18. So yeah, having uh, this in your mag well while trying to do a reload is not a good thing, so that could cause problems. But as you can see, this has the flaccid <laughs> um, 550 cord release, so you pull that. It's separate. You can't pull it and slide it forward like you can with the slingster. So I think that taking those two moving parts and compressing them into one is a huge benefit in and of itself. Of course, you got the cool design. I mean, with your VTAC stuff written on there. And tying this up, you grab this big old tab and slide that back forward. Release is a separate tab, so you can't do it nearly as quick. Although, that's not... I don't think, necessarily think that's something people are trying to do as fast as possible in most situations, but there you go. I'm going to pull this up over the neck here so you can actually sight in with my lack of optics and iron sights because, uh, yeah, that's just what I do with my MTR. It's a high precision weapon being used for spray and pray. Close quarters combat, shoot it like this the whole time, it'll be alright. So yeah, the other thing, here's the other fun thing that can happen. Here, what are you doing? Sling. Well, my sling has gone into its own world here. There we go. Another fun thing that you can do is if you go, oh, well, this is all held together with this piece here, so it can be a separate free-floating, uh, you know, piece. We can actually make this even tighter. So, few problems here, not necessarily with how I have the gun set up, but with this, now, hanging loose, uh, great philosophy for relaxation time in life, but for pieces of gear that can get up in your magwell and cause problems, you don't want anything sort of like free floating around like this. You want everything electrical taped and nice and uh, high speed. So that's a thing that you can do. It's a thing that can happen. And um, that's not so much an issue with the uh, feral concepts. So we come back over here and grab your feral boy, your moy feo boy. And uh, yeah, as you can see with the way this one's set up is everything's sort of self-contained. I didn't even see where the camera was facing. Everything's self-contained in here. You're not going to have any pieces really just floating around trying to get caught up in your magwell and cause you all sorts of grief. So that's good. Very fantastic. So, now that we've taken a look, we've used the VTAC for a while and now we've got our solid look at the um, Pharaoh Concept Sling. Which one's better? Well, I mean, you really need to articulate the uh, key aspects and um, pros and cons of each sling than having these nice ones here, having no extra flying parts, having a single piece tab that you can expand and retract your sling with. It, it's all these nice benefits. Even without the uh, padding, the padding is lesser here, but it's a lot lighter weight and it's very comfortable, so the weight reduction is a big thing to take into account. And overall, it's just much easier to use, much more comfortable, much more intuitive, and user-friendly. So, yeah, we've got a lot more we can get done with uh, this Ferro Concept Sling than you could with the VTAC. So, looking at the price-wise, I haven't really seen the prices have moved much, but they're close to the same price, and you're getting a lot more mileage and features. The Ferro Concept Sling has much more to offer, does much better than the more, uh, let's say, outdated Ferro, or more outdated VTAC sling, so there's a lot more you can do with the Ferro Concepts, and therefore I'm going to have to give this the, uh, the upgrade, the upgrade thumbs up, so the thumbs upgrade, let's call it a thumbs upgrade, there we go, we got a new word for the day, thumbs upgrade. So thumbs upgrade compared to the VTAC, that's not to say the VTAC is a bad sling, it's just that the Ferro Concept sling offers you much, much more 
to work around with and do cool Gucci things with. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, video on slings and things you can do with slings. Um, carry a tourniquet. Please don't rely on your sling to stop your bleeding. It's better to have something designed for that. But slings are cool. Slings are useful. If you don't have a sling, then um, enjoy having exhausted arms, I guess. Because being letting your arms get that relaxation time, so when things do go it's very bad, bad, you have the energy and everything ready to go. As opposed to people who don't use slings, and they have to hold their weapon like this all day. Their arms are just going to weigh down on their arms, and then when something does happen, they're like, ugh, oh no. So, and I do really like this. Okay, so another feature, another feature I have for you is if you actually take this sling off, because it's so lightweight and out of the way, you can still very easily maneuver the gun and use it efficiently in close quarters without the sling getting in all the way and catching up on all your gear and stuff. That was another thing I did have happen from time to time with the VTAX, but it seems to not be an issue with this, probably due to its lightweight and the fact that I have it set up much, much shorter here and on max shortness mode, it causes fewer problems and actually sits very well. Whereas with the VTAX, okay, sorry, okay. Another point here, let me a point. So when this sling's flying around and stuff, you can see there's not a whole lot of movement, not a whole lot of things going on. It's not gonna catch. And you might be looking at it and being, well, that doesn't, that does look like a bit of new movement there, uh, good sir knight. You sure you're, um, not finally going senile? Well, you compare that to this one, and this one's flopping all over the place, because it's got that extra weight and momentum that's gonna pull it around and give it a nice little wobble jump rope sort of ordeal, so. More things to think about, there's a lot to it, and um, I never really prepare these videos, I just kind of have a vague idea what I'm going to say and I jump right into it, so that's more or less what I got for you, so fun comparison, and uh, the material on this does feel a bit more durable, I think the, um, give me one second, I'll make sure I hold two guns at once, I'm going to double fist firearms here for a second, if you really look at the material, there seems to be a lot more glean and shine to the VTAC as well, or the, uh, yeah, the VTAC as well, whereas the Faro is far more simple looking, less glare. Light really seems to catch on the VTAC one and not so much on there, so there's another cover and concealment thing to take into account. There's a good amount of sheen, too, to the uh, padding that you're not going to have here. They do have a lot more padding. So, as far as subdued, uh, what's the word? This one has a lot more scintillation to it. This one's far more subdued and uh, I guess tactical is a good way to put it. So yeah, another consideration there. So ultimately the um, in all the points we're covering the uh, Slingster, I can see why it was so heavily recommended to me from the get-go and I'm kind of glad I actually picked finally get, broke down and picked one up. It's uh, yeah, it's neat. It's got that little Pharaoh guy on the tab, look, see him? He's so happy. And yeah, you can also upgrade your old sling stairs if you want to remove that 550 cord and buy these replacement nubs. They do sell them, so you don't need to buy an entirely new sling. And yeah, so that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions about either sling, feel free to hit me up. And yes, the MTR does look a bit more ghetto rigged, but you're going to have different sling setups based on your own personal preference as well as what type of weapon you are, a CQBR. is generally going to have a different sling setup configuration than a uh, longer DMR, MTR setup. So, cheers everyone. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And I'll see you guys later. And unlike your slings, hang loose everybody. Cheers.